speak to a representative or our Verizon assistant can quickly handle this request and more right now. Simply click the secure link we sent in a text message to your device. Once you're connected to our Verizon assistant, this call will automatically end. I'm calling for Jonathan Lippman's account. Hello, Jonathan. How are you today? I just I, don't presume this is Jonathan. I may be somebody who's representing him because of what I believe Verizon is doing to him. Um, but I'm call oh, okay. I'm calling about okay. this phone number, and I can give you whatever information you de need. Uh, my issue is I believe Verizon has been engaged in helping the New Jersey government use this phone number to spy on Jonathan Lippman and violate his constitutional rights. Um, He's received okay. some, he's received some uh, he he's been harassed and persecuted without arrest by the New Jersey government for three years now. Uh, it's been confirmed that the New Jersey government was illegally spying on him with the New Jersey Regional Operations Intelligence Center, um, and he's been receiving some phone calls some from from some spoof numbers that he believes might be law enforcement. Uh, and he would like it to stop. And he he primarily would like to know. Uh, any and all contact that Verizon has had in regards to this particular phone number, and if there are anything anything that Verizon isn't telling them uh, that the government may have contacted them about or be using Verizon to try to entrap him or violate his constitutional rights. This has been an ongoing matter for three years now, and we've given these governments the opportunity to... Uh, either file charges or not, and they have on multiple times said they're not going to file charges and they have no right to file charges, and yet it seems like Verizon is still complicit in their spying. In their spying. I know that's not something you would possibly be able to know about, but I'm trying to find out what is the method by which Verizon can be held accountable to declassify their interactions with the government in regards to a particular phone number. Okay, yeah, I, I completely understand and I'm so sorry about that. Um, I mean, I can't even imagine being in that situation. Um, you told me this has been going on for over three years, right? I don't know how long it's been going on with Verizon, but I suspect it's been going on longer than it should be allowed. It's been going on for three oh, years. No, yeah. It's been going on for three years in outside I just to sources. I'm seeing that he's been on Verizon for almost two years, I mean, one year and ten months, um, well, and I wanted to ask if, I mean, This number has been used uh, off and on since probably like 2005, so it's it's a long-term Verizon number. It's tr It transferred accounts years ago, but it, it was used years ago, too. It's been, right. the, been the same number. Right, I get it. I get it. Okay, and yeah, this is the number ended in 2597, right? Correct. Um, so let me, okay, from what you're telling me, this is something, this is customer service, and this is something that our fraud department handles. Okay. Uh, would you be okay if I talk to an agent over there and explain to them the situation so they can handle it way better with the laws and everything? Sure. You can okay. do that. Okay, thank you so much. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to put you on hold so I can talk to them, and I'll be right back to inform you, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. It will be a second. Okay.
Police can't do that. Surprise, surprise. Maybe in calling one of those countries, it's like, oh, that's fucked up. You've been harassing me, persecuting me for three years. You don't do that. You don't do that. You don't do that. I must really have something on me. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much and have a good day, both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Excellent. So my name is John and I'm from the Verizon Wireless Rock Prevention Team. Can you verify your first and last name for me? Uh, phone number, uh, for, for this phone number, it's Jonathan Littman. And can you verify the pin to the account? The what? Oh, I didn't have to do that before. Um, bear with me, I gotta get... Hold on.
Where can I find this information? It being it being a bill? Um, it would just be like when you set up by yourself. It has to be a continued setup at some point. Okay. Uh, but if you don't know, it's totally fine. Try uh, sixteen thirty four. It seems to have been correct, but um, it's it's fine for now. But can you just kind of recap the issue you're having? Um, so I'm trying to find out. Uh, there have been a number of spoofed phone calls made to this account. Um, and the government has been illegally spying on who they believe owns this account uh, for the last three years. And at a certain point, it, it seems like Verizon became complicit in this spying with or without a warrant. Um, so that's somewhat the situation. I was basically calling to see how a person would find out this information. Like if, if, if a person suspects Verizon has been coerced or asked in some way to access information, how would you find that out? I mean, I understand there's like an ongoing investigation, but if the investigation has been ongoing for three years, at a certain point, you, you must, there must be some means to retrieve that information, you know what I'm saying? Um, as far as like, um, here in the fraud department, we kind of are limited to our capabilities. Um, like, what we can do is we can definitely look into the accounts for like any frauds and orders. Um, as far as like spoofing issue, we can definitely have a, a better reference for that too. We actually have a government controlled website we would refer you to if you're having a spoofing issue. Okay. Um, it's a good, if once you're on this, this website, you just need to file a complaint. It's a formal complaint with the government. And once you file it with them, the, uh, the FCC should go to look into it. Because a lot of times what, what spoofing is, these people, they like will put your number on like a, kind of like a list. Mm -hmm. And this, this this number you'll have, it'll be used for, like, um, like fraudulent purposes. Mm -hmm. So say, like, um, you receive a call from people who are saying, hey, like, um, why'd you call me? I just got a call from you saying that I owed money or whatever, you know, whatever the situation is. A lot of times what it is, these people are, like, are disguising their numbers of yours. So that's actually an issue for a lot of people. Um, so what we do is we have to refer you guys to the FCC portal. Uh, it's an online, like okay, it's an online well, let me let me visit. rephrase this. Uh, I'm I'm sure I'm sure there's other ways outside of Verizon. L let's say a uh, year and a half ago in a court case, right? Uh, it was admit the New Jersey government admitted that uh, agency that has been in the news, the New Jersey Regional Operations Intelligence Center for politically persecuting people, was spying on this individual, and since for for. For like, starting two years ago, when the spying was suspected, their their battery started dying. Weird things was going on with their electronics, where it was like, like, like for instance, like uh, their their uh, you know their what is it? Not memory, but um, your uh, data is being used ex an exceeding amount that doesn't seem right to you, or uh, you're getting weird phone calls, or like your battery's draining, and then you find out eventually, like a year into this happening, that the government, they eventually admit they were spying on this person. How would you find out if Verizon in any way was involved or notified of this? Like there must be a certain point, I know the governments will contact you guys and be like, hey, we, we this judge, our friend, our buddy, the judge, uh, he's friends. We go golfing sometimes, but he gave me this warrant for this guy, and now you guys got to honor it. We don't have to tell him. You don't have to tell him. But when at a certain point uh, you have to tell them, like there's a freedom of information. So how does a per when does a person have a right, and how does a person have a right to find this out from Verizon? Um, I believe you'd have to speak with our legal team. Could I speak? Could I speak with them? Because, like, yeah, I can go and get you connected. Um, they have to be requested through like through customer care. Um, so I can go ahead and get you to customer care because I don't have like a direct line to them. I got you. But with customer care, you can request to speak to legal, and then they, then they can get you legal and see what they can do. If that's what you think is the right thing to do, I'd like to do that. Yeah, definitely that. And I can also give you our FCC info, information, sir. I just thought we can file a complaint for the for the spoofing issue. You're okay, having. yes, let's and do that. And at the same time, to find out the information you need to, we can definitely get you legal. Okay, let's do the thing you know about. So I'll go ahead and give you the website whenever you're ready. I'm, I have to kind of give it to you verbally. I got gotcha. you. Write it down. I'm ready. So that's going to be H T E P. Oh, I'm sorry. H. You, the line broke up. H T T P. So, yeah. So that's H as in Homer. Mm -hmm. T as in as in a T P and T again. Then T. So H T T P. Mm -hmm. Um. Colon. So like little dots. 
Yes. Oh, forward slash, forward slash, www dot I as an igloo, C as in Charlie, and the number three. So that's www dot ic3 mm-hmm. dot gov. Okay. Forward so, slash. Okay. The word uh, default. Okay. So default dot. Mm-hmm. A as an apple. S as in Sam. P as in Peter. And X as an X-ray. Okay, I, I'm going to read it back to you. And then. Oh, well, mm-hmm. keep going. I'm yeah. sorry. Was there more? Oh, it's okay. Uh, yeah, the last the, the last of that is the number is one two zero five. So ASPX one two zero five. Correct. Okay, I'm going to read it back. That's it? Yes, sir. Okay, so it's HTTP uh, colon a four dash or four slash four slash www dot ic3 dot gov slash default dot ASPX one two zero five. Exactly, yes, sir. Okay. And you was there something else or no, that, that's going to be it. So okay. once you're on the page, it's kind of self-explanatory. If you're on the website, it's going to show you like, a, like the options for spoofing. Mm-hmm. So once you just click on the, the option, it's going to give it's gonna give you a form to fill out for the complaint that you're having, for the issue you're having. Mm-hmm. Um, and then right now, I'll go ahead and reach out to our customer care department. Hold up. Uh, okay. There's an issue. There's an issue. Yes, sir. I typed it and it didn't come up, so I'm going to read it to you again. Uh, sure. H is in Harry, T is in Tom, T is in Tom, P is in Peter, Dot, dot, the dot on top of a dot, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, four is in the number, slash, like, going to the right, leaning right, four, slash, reaning, leaning right, www, dot, I is in igloo, C is in Charlie, three, dot, gov, slash, default, dot, ASPX, one, two, zero, five. Yeah, that's the welcome we we were given here. Okay. So, and I'll repeat that again. That's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www dot ic three dot gov forward slash default dot aspx one two zero five. Yeah, that's what I tried. It's not working. Okay. Yeah, I'm not too sure that's why that wouldn't work. Um. Maybe the best thing I can do is maybe just Google the FCC information. They might take the website from Google. Okay. Um, just because that's like what we're given like manually. Uh-huh. But FCC is definitely is the, is the name of the of the uh, yeah. Like, you need to contact. Them. Okay. Uh, let's do the legal the legal thing. Awesome. I'll go ahead and get the customer care as we, as right now as we speak, sir. But did you have like any other fraudulent questions that offer me today? Nope. Awesome. Uh, that being said, you take care. Okay. You too. Thank you for a great day. We'll bear with you, sir. Okay. Bye. I just have general questions for Verizon on this phone. You can assume this is Jonathan Lippman if that makes it easier. But uh, I don't. I just need to speak to the legal department. We don't have a legal department. You don't. The guy who the with? guy who I just spoke to through Verizon. I've been speaking to you guys now for twenty minutes. He just said he was going to transfer me to the legal department. He said he was going to take me back to customer service so that they can transfer me to the legal department because he was not able to help me. He said it was a matter for the legal department, 
now you're telling me you don't have a legal department. We don't. Okay, so you don't have a legal department, but the government is contacting Verizon to conduct search warrants, so you do have a legal department. We don't. You don't have, so you're saying, so who is, when the government says, hey Verizon, we want to spy on this phone number, 609-618-2597, and then they contact Verizon and they say, hey Verizon, here's a warrant from a judge, who do they give that to? Um, it's a certain department, but we don't, we cannot contact you too. We can give you a P.O. box where you can send, you can get in touch with corporate so they can give so, you more information. So, that, it, I don't have that so information. I'm, I'm just wondering, so if Verizon has caused me pain and suffering for the last year and a half, I should just file a lawsuit against them? That's completely up to you. Okay, how, how do, I would like to cancel my accounts. I, I, would, have your phone number, please? I would just like to state for the record I'm doing this out of duress because Verizon has violated my constitutional rights and refuses to give me any ability. So they have tormented me for the last year and a half, and now I have to cancel my phone because they won't give me information into the account itself and whether or not it's been wiretapped by the government for the last year and a half. So now I'm going to be left rendered without a phone, unable to function in society because Verizon won't give me basic information about who has been looking at my information on my account. I've been given a runaround for the last 25 minutes because they're engaged in a cover-up to conspire and help a government persecute a person. So what did you, what information did you need? Your phone number, please. 609-618-2597. Now, it, now, if I was the account owner, would I be able to get the information of the government spying on me? Like, if I if I like showed up and gave you my blood, would you give that information to me? You don't have that information. I do. I don't somebody has somebody saying. has that information though. Like, somebody has that information. It's ridiculous for you to say Verizon doesn't have a legal department. You're a billion dollar corporation. Like, for you to say you don't have a legal department is just absurd. Like it's, we do, but you have to send a letter to a P.O. box. We don't have a line for that. Okay. Where is... I'll, I'll, I'll humor you. Where is this P.O. box? Just give me the information. Yeah, let me give you that. Actually, let me make sure of that. One moment. Uh, do you have the account? an account? Actually, is Jonathan there with you that we can give us access so we can go ahead and give information up, please? Yeah, this is Jonathan. It's like a fucking game. I don't get it. Like, it's like, oh my god, someone, someone caught us. What do we do? Let's lie. Oh, we don't have that department. That's not a real detective. We don't actually have internal affairs. What do we do? What do we do? Let everybody lie. How did nobody else call about these things? Am I the only person who's, like, awake? How did all these corporations and governments go unchallenged like this? Like, how are they, like, not prepared for this shit? <laughs> Any way I talk to them, nice, professional, unprofessional, I could be me, I could be a lawyer, I could be a crazy person, I could be a victim, it doesn't matter.
thank you so much for holding. So uh, regarding the situation that we have within the know, and uh, since this call has definitely been recorded and you did uh, say you were not guys in that first, we will have to go to the store with an ID so they can give you further information. Please. So the store can give me further information about the legal department of Verizon and how I can speak to them? You would need to go with yeah with the photo ID. Now, why does a person need to go with a photo ID? Is uh, is having constitutional For rights? Reasons. Is having constitutional rights? Well, I just you just got off the phone and said you were going to give me a PO box, so I'd be happy to send a picture of the ID with the in that email to the PO box you were claiming I could contact. Yes, I'm sorry. Now we just have to go to the store for security reasons. Why is that? Or am I is is Jonathan going to be arrested in the store or something? No. To go to the store so, we can get information. so so let's so once again, I just want to confirm uh, to be a member of the exclusive club of having constitutional rights with Verizon Wireless. Um, they have to be like they have to pay them for constitutional rights because it seems like even paying Verizon for constitutional rights isn't working. So. Obviously, there's a legal department. I want you to explain what happened. So this 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 is Jonathan. You're speaking to Jonathan right now. So when I go into the store and I say, hey, here's an ID, here's a picture of my face, now you guys are probably going to tr help the government try to use it against him. Now, will you give the information to him? Um, what are the, What is Jonathan saying to this person in the store who usually just sells phones and plants? Like they're not the one who is, uh, they're not the Verizon Corporation or the phone number for the Verizon Corporation who is agreeing to the government spying on them. They're just like some person trying to, you know, much like you, which is why I'm not trying to talk to you, but they're just some person trying to like sell a phone, so they're not going to know what to do. So what am I saying to them and what are they going to say to me once I present this, this, um, you know, ID? Just explain the whole situation to me, because I've just been given the runaround. I've been on the phone with Verizon now for 30 minutes. And first they said, let me transfer you to, it uh, wasn't the legal department, it was the fraud department. And then the fraud department, when I was on the phone with the fraud department, couldn't even give the correct email address to file complaints on. And then uh, said they were going to transfer me back to you so you could transfer me to the legal department. And then you said there was no legal department. And then you said there was a P.O. box. I could send things to, mm -hmm. and now you're saying there's no P.O. box, and to get any answers to anything for a corporate issue, not a store issue, is to go into the store and give an ID. So I just want to be clear so that there are no more errors or mistakes or nobody comes back with a different story, like, hey, you got to call corporate again. How does this going to the store with the ID work? So they can give you further information on your account. At this moment... This call has been recorded, and at the beginning, you did state that you were not Jonathan, and I am not able to move forward anymore. I do apologize. I understand your frustration, but so, I cannot move forward. So, if I call, anymore. if I call back and say I'm Jonathan, will I be able to? That's up to you at this moment. Like I said, I will be definitely documented on the mail. Okay. Well, make sure you tell. Make sure. Make sure you tell the. Make sure you tell the government that has been using this account to persecute a person. Uh, that uh, you were smart enough to say, oh, there might be another person calling, so we can't verify this as Jonathan, so we can't use this phone call or this email address or anything that's being sent by this phone as evidence to allow him access into the account. Make sure you share that with the government because they don't even believe that. They, they think you they can just use this phone number and say, oh, no, Jonathan Littman's credit card pays for it, so... At any time this phone number is used with anything, we can contact Verizon, and Verizon will allow us to spy on the account. You see the complication there. You're not giving access to the member of the public who's calling from this phone number, but you're allowing a government to use this phone number to be used to persecute a person, even though you're on record saying they can't be verified without an ID. You have a good day.